cops are responsible for enforcing the law, but some of them end up abusing their power. Then what happens when their fellow officers, who are committed to justice, step in? Here are four instances when corrupt cops were arrested by good cops. It's all good. I'll make sure you don't fall. It's all good. I'll make sure you don't fall. All right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 again, I'm from seizures. Here, you want to sit down? down? You want to sit down? Here, you can sit down in the grass if you want. This is Officer Oscar Mayorga from the Apopka Police Department. On July 4th, 2022, Officer Mayorga was observed driving his police cruiser recklessly on a highway in Florida by some citizens. Officer Mayorga allegedly drove fast and ignored stop signs, posing an abnormal threat to people around him. He was immediately reported to the police, leading to an unexpected traffic stop for the cops. Uh, why is it all yellow? Uh, it's all good. Hey, Officer Oscar, why don't we come back out here real quick? Come back here, boss man. It's all good. Hey, man. So, can you just put your hands on the roof for me? Quick, I'm gonna remove your gun, okay? You got any other weapons? Uh, no, but um, I'm, I'm prone to seizures. You're, you're prone to seizures? Okay, I'll turn my lights off real quick for you, all right? I'm gonna put this in my car for the duration of this. Encounter, okay? Yeah. Watch them though. What's going on, man? You know, my seizures might act up right now. Okay, do you need an EMS? Uh, no. Here, let's just lean against the, my car real quick, alright? Yeah. Alright, right here. It may get a little hot, it's a normal car. <laughs> 42 to 14. Are you making too far with the pocket? Ten twenty six. Right there, all right? Yeah. You don't have your clip with you? Uh, no, sir. No? Okay. Where's the thing you found? Um, you got some more than one. It's all good. He said that his rifle's in the in the back. Okay. Um, it was in the San Ponce when I talked to him. It was in a couple of... Uh, it's no, not there. Uh, more than welcome. To, um, oh, what time did you get off work today, man? Huh? What time did you get off work? Uh, 6.30. 6.30? What have you been doing? Uh, I, I got a foot pursuit. You got to a foot pursuit? What time? Uh, four. What? Uh, three, four a.m. Four a.m.? Do you work night shifts? Yeah, night uh, Eight thirty at night, six thirty in the morning. Are you heading to work? Where were you going? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you said you lived off the Atwater. It's all good. I'm right here if you need a here if you need a lean. Hey, if you work nights, where are you going right now? I work um It's all good. I'll make sure you don't fall. It's all good, I'll make sure you don't fall. Alright? Mm -hmm. I, 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 uh, seizures. Here, you want to sit no. down? You want to sit down? Here, you can sit down in the grass if you want. Oh. He's already disarmed, sir. Oh, oh, they're all good, you're, you're just very, very tip, top, like top, top heavy, and you almost fell, so I wanted to sit you down yeah. in the grass, okay? So, so sit him in the back of the car. You want to sit in the back of my car where there's AC? You're not in trouble. Listen, do you need EMS or no? Uh, no. no. If you're acting like this way, I'd rather them come Here. and make sure you're okay. Let's sit in the back where there's AC. Uh, all right, you're not in trouble. That no, I, no, no, I know. I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm good. All right, come on. Ready? 42 uses. All right. 
Can you have EMS en route? You can't even stand properly. It keeps falling. The interrogating police officers from Eustis Police got testimony from driving by citizens when they also criticized his reckless driving. Did you guys see it? This guy was from in Lowe's, from, Lowe's. from Lowe's in Mount Dora, all the way around a couple of blocks to the center street and whatever. Twenty three one. I uh, will give him a call back in a minute. I'm speaking because he's playing again. What's the Yeah, Center Street and Firewood. Yes, sir. All over the road, stopping in the middle of the street, off the road, running stop signs. A lot of stuff going on okay. with this guy. And I tried to call a pop the PD, of course, they said they closed. Mm -hmm. So when he was calling 911, I guess it went to you guys. Yes, but sir. I was sure other people was probably calling him. Okay. But, oh, uh, yeah, we got we got a call. Yeah, I don't. He could be having a medical condition, but he was asleep. We passed by his car. He was asleep. He was asleep? He when was when did you pass by his car? Right over here at Center and Firewood. Okay. We turned the corner. He was coming this way. We turned the corner because we kind of lost him. All right. But I have everything. On video, you do. Would I you be it. able to email that to one of our officers? Yeah, the guy just gave him a card here. Perfect. All right. What's your name, man? Uh, uh, Officer Mayorga. Said his name was Oscar. Okay. Do you have a business card, sir? Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm Corporal Steele, by the way, man. Oh, I, I, is this your ID? No. Nope. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, that's okay. not okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hand these back to you because I don't know. Oh, that's your ID. That's your card to get back into the station. <clears throat> um, he can't even. He keeps stumbling. Do you smell anything? Yeah. And what do you beer. smell? Alcohol. Okay, I'm just making sure. Um, what type of beer can? He said it was in his center call when he first got there. It was. Hey man, just sit down. Hey. Sit down, sir. We're just having EMS come to check you out. Um, he moved the beer can because when what I got there, can was it? Hold on. He moved it, and put it in between the seat. So I looked in there, I saw it, so I grabbed it, and it's a 7.5 percent alcohol, uh, some kind of ale. Ale. Oh, it's like a. July. Maybe a Sir, did you do anything to celebrate today, man? Uh, no, sir. No? Yes, sir. Listen, man. Um, it's, rather, took, it's better uh, to be honest. In I'm our profession, you. I took a lot of um, Benadryl. Listen, in our profession, you know it's best to be honest, right? No, 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 I know. Okay, no, I know. I, 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 I took Listen, uh, the Benadryl. Deputies from Eustis Police inquired how much have he been drinking after they found an open can of beer in his car. Listen to what Officer Mayorga has to say in response. There is an open container of alcohol in your vehicle. Have you been drinking at all today? Uh, no, that's uh, that's maybe three days old. Okay. I smell the alcohol coming from your breath. Okay. Are you willing to perform standard field sobriety exercises? Okay. You are? Uh, no. You, so you don't want to do them? Okay. EMS uh, is gonna come check you out. And if you have to go to the hospital, then We'll go from there, okay? Uh, no, uh, again, uh, I took, uh, three Benadryls. You took uh, three Benadryls? What time? Maybe less than two hours ago. Two hours ago? If you were going into work, why would you take Benadryl, man? You know Benadryls make people sleepy. I was trying to go to sleep. Uh, I miss your shift? Are you scheduled to work today? Yeah. You, you see where we're coming from, man? You're not making yeah. any sense. No, 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 I do. No, I do. Hey, Oscar. Can I call you yeah. Oscar? Yeah. yeah okay. Of course. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and take your belt off for me, man? Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we'll take everything and everything will be in your car. Do you have your keys to your car, too? Uh -huh. They're in the cars. Go grab those keys. 
Alright, I got it. Yeah. Watch your radio. Is this is this a button on top? Yeah. Do you want to take your vest off too? Uh, no, I'll leave it on. Okay. Mayorga also denies being a part of field sobriety tests, and after some assistance from the Emergency Medical Services, EMS, he is held accountable for his unlawful actions. Oh, the here? EMS is right here. Hey, just all good. We can just sit down. No, sit down. You gonna sit down with them? Yeah. All right. What? He won't do it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take your vest off, man. Are you going to go to the hospital? I mean, I guess so. Do you want to go? Not really, but what do you guys think? Somebody come pick him up from here. Uh, if you guys could take care of me right now, um, I well, wouldn't mind. Well, we can't really like treat. Uh, if you guys could just pretty much check me out. Is there anybody you can call that can come get you? Uh, his, my mom. The sergeant's on his way. Oh, okay. Um. So I do have a uh, Poland syndrome. What's that? So, uh, Poland syndrome. What's that? Uh, so I'm missing the left side of my chest. Okay. I just need this arm. No. Do you have a knife in your pocket, man? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, you guys can check my pocket. You're good. It's all good, man. You just have your keys? Yeah. You just got your keys? Okay. So they're going to have to take all this stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so gone got, and all that. I'll stay here with the vehicle, depending on the outcome. I got his signal zeros in yeah. my car. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. He doesn't have any other. No, this. I made sure. Oh, oh no, I didn't. It's in the driver's seat. <laughs> hey, can you stand out for me, mommy? Yeah. All right, just come up towards me. Turn around. Turn, no, turn around. I'm gonna pat you down for. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna these, these are all your personal keys. Right? Your so these two. Yeah. So this is the front door and the back. Okay. okay. And this is the Jeep. Your personal Jeep. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Ten fifteen. Hang on one second. Um. So you already uh, explained uh, everything to him, uh, sir. I already know what ten fifteen means. Um. He says he's refusing Santa field sobriety exercises. He's gonna refuse to go to the hospital. All right. Um, I, I am really just begging you, I, I, I don't want to go to jail. Listen. Well, hey, we're going to detain you, and we're going to figure it out, okay? Go ahead and don't get a resistance. No, 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 Bring hands out your frame. Yes. Is this driver is detained right now. Just take a seat for me. Yeah. These are his personal. I'm going to set them on your driver's and passenger seat. Just got to stick in my pocket right here. 
Take a seat. Take a seat. The other side over here. On this side. On this side. Alright, just don't touch your mouth, okay, for the next 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, I said, yeah, of course. Yeah. Don't touch your mouth, all right. Uh, do you want to use the bathroom? I have to wait 20 minutes, okay? After we do the breath test. Officer Mayorga was arrested and charged with driving under the influence, DUI. He recorded a blood alcohol level of 0.39, whereas the legal limit was 0.08. He was placed on administrative leave. If you think this was the only corrupt cop caught, wait until you watch this next case. Is it worth it to you that serious for this? Yes, because he pushed me. Almost took the blue tactile. They That's pushed me too because I didn't know I was in the middle That's of it. That's your guy. I don't know, let no man allow me. I don't care he if He didn't you, push you yes, down. He it moved doesn't you. matter, but he pushed He touched you. Exactly. This is Martisa Lee from the Chicago Transit Authority. On February 4th, 2020, Chicago police had sealed an area on the platform of the Jackson Red Line platform when a musician known as Michael Malinowski was stabbed by a woman there when she reportedly was annoyed by the music Malinowski was playing. Lee was non-cooperative with Chicago police officer Raymond Heron after he asked her to step out of the crime scene. Are we letting people walk inside? No, they gotta go on the outside. This is all a crime scene. Yeah, he's grabbing after the victim. Watch out, ma'am, 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 come out here. I, I got to say. Oh yeah, you need to get out of the crime scene, ma'am. Please get out of the crime scene. That's you what I'm telling you. And, and you're touching me now. Because you're in the crime scene, and I'm do asking not you to stay Do not go in the crime scene. And I'm doing my job. Do not touch me. You're not doing your job. Do not touch you can do your me. job from right there. Do not touch you, me. You can do your job don't from right there. Don't touch me again. Don't go through the crime don't scene again. Don't touch me again. Then don't go through the crime scene again. Don't touch me again. Then don't go through the crime don't scene again. It's very simple. Again. It's very we can go back and forth all day. Don't touch me. It's done already. Martessa Lee argued that she was there doing her job as an incident commander while she had this verbal skirmish with Officer Heron. Later, she made a complaint about the doings of Officer Heron to another sergeant. He grabbed me. Why? I, I Were you no in the crime idea. scene or something? I'm, or? I'm walking, talking, and they were telling me to assess the situation. He grabbed me and pushed me over. Uh, maybe you were in the crime scene. I'm, I'm not sure. Right there, I'm not by the they wouldn't and I'm grab you over just for no reason, though. He grabbed me and pushed me. Clearly, it could be seen, too. Okay. Him right there. Okay. Do you want me to ask him why? I want you to, I want you to something to be done. I, I, well, if he tells me that you are obstructing the crime scene, we're going to arrest you. You're not going to arrest yes, me. Yes, we are. My job. Yeah. This is my job. We're I not going to. Oh, that's the way it's going to go. If you, well, you want to complain, go away because this is my that'll job. be his job, though. It's You'll it's be exactly. obstructing and his job, which is. told to assess the thing. So if I'm walking, I'm not stepping yeah, on the blood. Now you're not, playing apples and oranges. This I'm not. is our apples crime Apples and oranges scene. is not to be pushed. Okay, I'm going to ask him. You can ask him. Are you the supervisor? Yes, I am. Is it worth it to you that serious for this? Yes, because he pushed me. Did I? If I pushed push you, you out I of the my, crime scene? Yes, almost took the blue tactile. They That's, pushed me too because I didn't know I was in the middle That's of it. your guy. I don't know. Let no man allow me. I don't care. He if didn't you, push you yes, down. He it doesn't you. matter, but he pushed you. He touched you. Exactly. So what's You're the not problem? To touch me. What yes, do you mean? Can, can I touch you and grab you the way he grabbed me? We can touch you to move you out can of I a crime scene. Can I touch you and grab you the way he grabbed me? Ma'am, we can touch you to move you out of a crime scene. So I can touch you and move no, you. No, you can't right. touch this, me. This, we this can touch you. Too. Okay, I can this touch you. This is not your job. This is our job. That your job is to is conduct the job. Trains. Exactly, and I was talking to my manager to let them. Your job is to, con to work with the and trains. This is now our crime scene. If you're in the middle of it, we can move you out of it. Yes, I'm not. I'm not your crime scene. We're going to move you out of the crime scene. But I'm not your crime scene to push. 
There's no complaint. If that's your complaint, yeah, there's no complaint. What's in for? Five, you're a man. So yeah, we're going to have to. I'm going to talk to him, man. That, no, that's fine. But I, I, that, that's fine. Whatever you say, that's fine. Which one of you guys grabbed her? Me. Because she was walking through the crime scene. obstructing the crime scene. Yes. I told her, it's all my body camera. I told her she had to get out of the crime scene. She kept walking. I told her she had to get out of the crime scene. Did she continue in our crime scene? Walking yes. away from the crime scene. He pushed she I guess I wasn't walking fast scene. enough for him. Yes, no, I didn't. I was, he pushed me right over there. It, it'll all be seen. Well, but, that, but you guess what? It's all on camera and I'm done with it now. She walked from here? I don't know. I mean, are we done with this? I mean, he's explaining oh, what no, he I'm did. No, I'm not done with it. Y'all can be done with it. You're not done with it? Oh, I'm not. Because I'm do you I'm want to have her arrested for obstructing our crime scene? <laughs> I'm on she could laugh all she wants, but she right, cannot obstruct Central. our crime scene. Was she obstructing our crime scene? She did not exit when I told her. I said, man, we got to get out of the crime scene. She didn't listen to it several times. That's when I'm I took on her the radio. Behind. He didn't see us several He pushed me from scene. behind. We can look at my body camera. We sure can. Okay, arrest her. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Because he's saying I'm walking in the crime scene. You, I can put my, my radio back on my, my myself and you snatch and stuff. That That is so... So why are we arresting her? He said I was obstructing the crime scene. Yeah, okay, let me ask you. She was walking through the crime scene. I followed her and said, you have to go to the crime scene. Ma'am, you got to go to the crime scene. She's talking on her phone. So you got to go to the crime control. scene. I took her arms like this from behind it and I guided her out, outside the crime scene. She turned around and spun me and said, don't put your hands on me. I'm doing my job. I said, you could do your job out here. She said, don't you ever put your hands on me. I said, you're in the crime scene. It's all on my body camera. Or not. Yeah, sure. Is. I mean, we were, she pushed me from behind. Did she continue in the crime scene? After no, I moved her out, after I put her, put her out, no. But she wouldn't listen to me walking through. And she said it's straight for the blood. Possibly not hear the direction the first time. No, because she held the phone. Said I'm on the phone control. talking to my boss. Exactly. You were, on the phone. They were instructing her to crime to. Um, okay, so maybe she didn't hear oh, the directions first. Is it possible? It's, it's a possibility that maybe she didn't hear. I mean, ma'am, did you hear him say to get out of the crime scene? No, I did not. But he didn't. He also pushed me, and that was the whole issue. But that's not, not an issue. That you, is an issue. That's not an issue because he can grab you and okay, move so you out of the crime scene. What are y'all about to do? Because I, I don't have time for it. What I'm saying is, being nice. he, what I thought he was saying is, she was directed several times to stop walking through the crime scene. This is part of our policy. You're handcuffed. Oh, I cannot wait. I I'm just this, trying to do thing. a full investigation. You weren't to trying to do nothing. He pushed I'm you. I'm doing it right now. He can push you out he of the crime scene. He can't push me nowhere. Yes, he can. We have no, a crime scene for an aggravated battery. Yes, we can. It ain't no crime, baby. I ain't even supposed to be on the clock. I'm doing y'all, I think. I know you are. And I'm going to get you out of this. Don't get me out of this. I didn't do nothing. I know you didn't do anything. A misunderstanding. It's please. not. He pushed me. Tisa, please. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm please. asking you. This is I, wrong. And I'm, okay. Okay. And we'll, listen, we'll take it up with. We'll take it up with their sergeant, their lieutenant, whoever we need to. But this is not. I mean, she was on the phone with our control center, and they were giving her instructions to block the to block off the crime scene. I mean, what is it that you want? Sounds like that it was a misunderstanding. It's possible. We can go with that. That she didn't hear, and that's why you had to move her out of it, right? She wasn't being disobedient. Except that she held the phone and said, "No, I'm doing my job." But so if you want me to get your handcuffs off? I maybe will. she didn't hear the first part. Of it. Okay. She didn't enter in after you moved her out of it, right? Oh, then she became more argumentative. But you know what's me? Again, everything's on my body camera, so. Alright, let's take it. Sounds like a good one. Come on in. There you go. I was gonna say, you wanna get shot, because the media's on their way down. So you wanna get. You don't need to apologize. 
apologize. You weren't the one doing it. Officer Heron handcuffed her based on obstructing the crime scene. She was kept on the platform and was released after eight minutes of arrest. She was not charged with any misdemeanor. Lee took legal action against the city of Chicago in connection to the incident. Additionally, she has initiated a federal lawsuit against the two officers, claiming false arrest and asserting a violation of her First Amendment right to free speech. If you think Martisa Lee was exploiting her powers wrongly, then you probably haven't heard about this next case. Sir, show us your hands. Hands, 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 up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you doing? All right. You know, I'm the director of the Miami-Dade Police Department. This is Officer Alfredo Freddy Ramirez from the Miami-Dade Police Department. On July 23, 2023, around 6.38 p.m., several deputies Tampa Police Department responded to a call near Tampa Hotel, where they were told that Director Ramirez possessed a firearm while threatening to take his life. Officers heard a verbal argument in the hallway between an unidentified male and female, however, no specific threats were reported. Did they actually walk across the street into the building? They what? They walked across the street into the JW building. They, they're there now? Yeah, they just walked in. I have an officer kind of like behind them watching them, but supposedly what a witness saw was they were arguing. They came out here. Um, he stated something. He's going to end it now, put a gun in his mouth. And then when I came out, I saw them arguing across the street still, but then they walked. So you got somebody following the guy with the gun? Um, they're not following, but they're kind of seeing where they're going. Well, where is he? Can, can you contact them and see where he's at now? They're in the JW. Okay. As the police were told that the suspect was armed, they encountered him with full protection so that nothing went wrong. They're good enough. So the information we have for that room was Alfredo Ramirez. Now it's kids. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Right there, good. Damn it, police! Damn it, police! Come with your hands up. See your hands, ma'am. Hands. Step out. Show us your hands. What are you doing? It's the police. Oh, step step out. out, show us your hands. Who else is with you? Come on, come back here. Okay, step out with your hands up, sir. Step out here. Step out here, ma'am. Come to us. Step, come to us. Come to the back. Sir, step out here with your hands up. Okay. Sir, show us your hands. Hands, step hands, out hands. Here. hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up, hands up. Hands up. Good, hands up. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you doing? All right. You know, I'm the director of the Miami Dade Police Department. I have no idea what's going on, bro. No, who called the cops? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, man. You're being detained right now. I didn't do anything, so I don't understand. You're just being detained. I'll explain all the information to you. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. We're going to check. Go away. We're going to go away. We're going to go away. We're going to go away. He fits the description, right? Does he fit the description? But, sir, I'm the police. I'm the director of the police department. Security. Don't do this to me. Can we clear the room? Make sure there's nothing else in there. Officer Ramirez reassured that he harbored no intentions of causing harm to himself or others in his vicinity. Despite his claim of engaging in a conversation with his wife, the tone appeared aggressive, given the voices heard by police deputies earlier. He appeared visibly surprised at being handcuffed by the police, especially considering his position as the director of a police department. Are we good, sir? Where am I in All right, so tell us, tell us what happened outside of the New York. We were just talking. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just talking. I didn't touch her. You're gonna ask her. I didn't do anything. Okay. okay? Did you possibly have a gun on you? I have a police gun. Yes, I do. Okay. Did anything happen? With no, the gun? sir. Not at all. Interactions? No, happened. sir. Not at all. Okay. No. Did you display the gun? No. No, sir. Okay. We had a discussion. What was the discussion? Marks. Nothing. Just talking about marriage stuff. We're good. Marriage stuff. That's all. Trouble marriage right now? No. Marriage? We're good. We're good. Did voices get loud? No, or? yes, we were talking, but nothing else, sir. Please, please don't do this in here. I'm here for the sheriff's call. Okay. Does he have a sheriff? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're good? Yeah. Right now, we're still trying to figure out everything. Okay, I'm going to take you out of hands. Okay, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. The police interrogated Officer Ramirez's wife to be certain that nothing was unusual in this situation. Initially, his wife informed the officers that she couldn't recall whether he had pointed the gun at anyone. 
However, in subsequent statements, she consistently asserted that he did not. She emphasized feeling safe and clarified that he had not made any threats towards her. Watch what she has to say. Is this for real? Yes. What's going on? Is your husband in there with you? Yes, he is. What's your husband's name? Freddie. Freddie. He's the director of Miami Dade Police Department and the chief of public safety. Step off 17, We're just having a heated conversation. We're fine. Okay. Well, can you step over here by the window for Thank you. That's going to prevent other people being 100% smooth. I don't recall him taking it out. Okay. He said initially, I don't remember. And then he said, and just said again, he doesn't just remember. Uh, All the way on there. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Are you safe? Yes, I am. Do you have any concerns? For my safety? No. At all? At all. Sorry. And there's nothing else like to have in that you forgot to tell us or uh, chose not to tell us anything like that? I can tell you what I told them. I've been married 30 years. My husband's in home. He's the director of the Miami Dade Police Department. You can call it safety. I don't know all that, but that doesn't I know mean. all the buttons to push, yeah. and he's pushing them back. We're having an argument. Okay, so I am sick. <laughs> I have four kids to go home to my grandma and another one on the way. If I felt unsafe, I would tell all of you right this minute because that would be my savior. Things did take a dark turn after the police left. Officer Ramirez was released after a short while when he expressed that he was initially going to harm himself. He assured the officers that he would not commit such an act. However, Officer Ramirez shot and wounded himself on Interstate 75 in Hillsborough County while he drove back home with his wife. Ramirez was promptly taken to a nearby hospital and underwent surgery. Fortunately, there was no brain damage sustained in the incident, but it is anticipated that he will lose his right eye. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava announced in a news conference on July 26th that Ramirez had submitted his resignation shortly before the self-inflicted injury occurred. If you think this was a corrupt act by a cop with authority, wait until you watch this next case. Guess who I just pulled over? Hey. Yarborough. Really? Yeah, the chief deputy driving a Dodge Charger, a souped up Dodge Charger that belongs to the sheriff's office. I just clocked this at 96 in a 35. This is Officer Michael Yarbrough from the Henry County Sheriff's Office. On June 20th, 2023, a Henry County police officer on patrol caught Officer Michael Yarbrough speeding over 96 miles per hour in a Dodge Charger in a 35 mile per hour zone. He pulls over the police chief soon after he's caught speeding. Really? License in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello? Guess who I just pulled over? Hey. Yarborough. Yeah, the chief deputy driving a Dodge Charger, a souped up Dodge Charger that belongs to the sheriff's office. I just clocked this at 96 in a 35. What was the issue? I mean, why is he speeding? No, no reason. He's in an unmarked car. He just got a high horsepower car and decided he wanted to play. It's your traffic stop. You do what you think you should do. I mean, I, I'm not telling you one way or the other. You do a 96 in a 35. Okay. Well, you know I don't care for him, so I'm going to ride his <laughs> Sir, here's your ID back. This is your copy of the citation. And if you would sign right here, it's got a court date, time, it's a must appear. Yes, sir. Please slow down and have a safe day. For those who don't know, in Georgia, individuals classified as super speeders receive tickets for driving at speeds of 75 miles per hour or higher on a two-lane road or 85 miles per hour or higher on highways. Officer Michael Yarbrough is offered citations for over speeding and is handed a $200 speeding ticket. 
The officer pulling him over is also amazed by the doings of Chief Deputy Yarbrough. It's remarkable to witness instances of corrupt police officers being exposed by their upright colleagues. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.